With the showy GTR2 and the Neo Tech 2 designed to only take the Sina SRL2, that's left a lot of riders who wanted to use their Cardo Pack Talks with a heap of trouble and even more questions. So we've decided to delve into the topic to see what your Cardo mounting options are. Whether you love it or you hate it, Shoei and numerous other manufacturers have embarked on the path of building helmets to integrate with their own special comp systems. And since the recently released Shoei J Cruise 2 also features the SRL2 preparation, this is something that's likely going to continue. So if you want to talk to your riding buddies through mesh or get superior audio, that presents a huge problem when you're trying to install a Cardo Pack Talk. So we'll be running you through some of the potential difficulties that you may run into while installing as well as some of their solutions. Before we dive in, just a quick reminder to subscribe and check out the rest of our YouTube channel where we review the latest motorcycle gear and con systems, and we run our helmet road tests where we take these helmets out, measure as much data as we can from them, and bring you the results. Before we take a look at how to install a Cardo in the helmet, we'll mention some things to keep in mind as far as the various difficulties. First and most glaringly are these large triangular panels in the exact same spot where you would ideally want to mount your system. Even if you remove the panels, the triangular shape means that most any Cardo mount won't fit, so you'll already have to mount it towards the back, which is a little bit more out of the way. Next, looking at the actual lip of the helmet, this should not pose as much of an issue, and there is a very small sweet spot for the pack talk clamp just behind the panels. However, because this space is not designed for a comp system, this is going to be quite close to the helmet's outer shell, so you'll need to move the clamp in very carefully. Lastly, and this is the reason why we're using the PackTalk Bold, is the SRL2 battery housing in the back of the helmet, which effectively takes up the space where you could mount the Slim's battery. While you could use the short clamp here, the fit is very close and you don't want to risk affecting the interior of your helmet. But if you're still curious about the difference between the Slim and the Bold, make sure to check out our video on the topic. So let's take a closer look at how you could mount the PackTalk Bold. While it is possible to install the system with the clamp, it is both risky because it's in a space not technically built for it, and it may require changes to the interior of the helmet that may void your warranty, or mean you can no longer return it, or even compromise the helmet's safety. So these solutions do exist, but we won't cover them here. So this pretty much just leaves us with the glue plate option, which is only offered with the PackTalk Bold. So, following the glue plate option, the first thing you'll want to do is wipe the area where you want to mount the system with the alcohol wipes Cardo provide in the box and place the glue plate mount. Put it on firmly and leave it for about 24 hours, but keep in mind you can only do this once, so as always, measure twice, cut once. The good piece of advice before mounting the glue plate would be to double check how well the system will fit in terms of the reach of the wires. And while we didn't follow the through with the full glue plate procedure, it's still fairly clear with the alcohol wipes and making sure that the glue plate is firmly mounted. But Cardo do have replacements available in case you want to mount it on any other helmets. Next, use a narrow object, for example a screwdriver or anything like that, to remove the clamp from the system's housing. You just need to push the tab in while pushing the clamp down to make it come free. Once that's off, you can slide the housing onto the glue mount and the system's going to stay put. Next, you connect the speakers to the socket We've already taken out the liner ahead of time and we've left the left cheek pad in to make putting the wires back in easier at the end. You use the square velcro pads provided and place them in the ears of the helmet. While Cardo give you some extra spacers in case the speaker pockets are too deep, you most likely won't need them since the pockets are slightly smaller than the JBL speakers. So you will have a bit more of a tighter fit. Looking at the full interior here, you can see how the speaker pockets are going to be slightly smaller than the JBL ones, though you should still be able to squeeze them in there. Next, you can get it to installing the microphone. You connect it so the arrows are pointing towards each other, as usual, and which microphone you use depends on if you're installing in the GTR2, where you want the wired mic, or the Neotech 2, where the boom mic is better suited. In this case, we'll use the boom mic, and all you need to do is place the Velcro sticker so that you can mount the microphone brace with the yellow arrow pointing towards where your mouth will be. It's important to note as well that pretty much all the installation steps for the Cardo on the Neotech 2 will hold for the GTR2 since, other than the microphone, they're both very similar on the interior. Once that's done, you just need to put the liner back in, and you've got a pack talk bold in your SRL2 prepared showy helmet. While the glue plate is not ideal, it does get you there in the end, and even then, with a bit of finagling, 
you can get the clamp to work, and you can also play around a bit with the microphone and speaker placement. But at the end of the day, you do get the best sound with the JBL speakers, and you can talk to the rest of your group through the DMC mesh without the hassle of chaining your systems together via Bluetooth. As far as reviewing the Cardo Pack Talk or the Sina SRL2, and going into more on how the systems work or how you can install them, you can also check out our videos on those respective topics. If you'd like to see more on the Cardo Pack Talk Bold or Slim, then make sure to check out championhelmets.com where we have our lowest price guarantee, and you can also find the systems at a discount in our helmet bundle deals. So that's it for seeing the potential options for installing a Cardo Pack Talk into the Show New Tech 2 or the Show GT Tier 2. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, where you'll also stay up to date on the latest helmet road tests, where we bring you the facts. And let us know your comments and questions down below. I'm Sebastian from Chapman Helmets, and thanks for watching.